Hello my friends, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to Grace in My Space. Today I'm going to take you along on a journey, a journey of DIY and decorating. We are going to change the look of my existing coffee table with a really easy and fun DIY project. And then I'm going to show you a variety of ways to style a coffee table for free. I recently refinished our living room coffee table to darken the top portion. I wanted it to match our newly refinished kitchen island, but it wasn't quite dark enough, so I'm applying a Minowax gel stain in the color black right over top of that previous stain to darken it up and help even out some of the coloring. Then I am going to be applying my favorite poly. It has a matte finish instead of a gloss finish, which I really love for furniture so that it protects it, but it doesn't add a high gloss shine or a lot of reflectiveness. So as you can see, this particular poly goes on with this milky finish and then it actually dries very quickly and it dries to a clear finish that is matte like I mentioned. The trick to getting a really good finish with your poly is using extremely long brush strokes. You want to go the full length of the surface for your final strokes so that you're not showing any start and stop lines with your brush marks. I use Varathane's Ultimate Polyurethane, which is water-based, and it will come to a very beautiful finish, but one thing that you should make note of is that dark colors on your furniture shows every speck of dust. So just something to be aware of. I knew this was going to happen, but I'm definitely dusting more frequently. Now, if your home is anything like mine, then this is what your coffee table looks like on a daily basis. I mean, look, we found some money today. That's always a bonus. And look at how cute this is. Isn't that cute? She did good. But when it's not on a daily basis and you have company coming or you actually just like to have your coffee table look more polished, we're going to start by cleaning the mess. Now, through the entire video, I'm going to be showing you a variety of different decor sources. I love these plum eucalyptus stems. Anything that I show you that is shoppable and not an antique or not out of stock, I will link for you in the description in case you want to shop yourself, including my outfit sources, because I've been getting questions on where I get my outfits from, so those will be linked for you as well. All right, let's start with the easiest way to style a coffee table. Empty, no, I'm just kidding. But really, some people really just like their coffee table to be completely empty, a few coasters so that they can use it for artwork, for their kids to draw on, for actual, just, you know, a spot for your coffee, hence the coffee table name, or they just like the clean, minimal look. So if that is you, leave it empty and use your decor in other places. Not every surface has to be decorated, and I think sometimes we just need a little bit of that freedom to have empty space and create white space in our homes and allow something to just breathe. But if you do want to decorate your coffee table, which I'm guessing is why you're here, let's start with this one. The tray. The tray is the most efficient, versatile option for decorating your coffee table. A tray allows you to have a landing zone so that you can corral and contain your decor pieces into something that makes it feel really put together and not chaotic. And it allows you very easily, if you have guests coming over and you want to clear the space or you need to clear the space, to just pick up, move all your decor off, and then you're not having to spend time really gathering and moving things. I love to use a beautiful bouquet. I incorporate some fall colors in here. I love to add books on the other side, things that I actually read and would pick up daily. Coffee table books are a great example. And then just have some cutesy little pieces in addition. So this is look number one. Look number two. Now look number two is very simple. 
There is nothing complicated about this, literally a stack of books and a flower arrangement, but it feels very fallish because of our plum color of the eucalyptus, and it feels very relaxing and inviting to just sit down, enjoy the space, grab a book, grab your cup of coffee, and have a moment of rest and reprieve and refreshment. And so I love this look for the simplicity while it still feels very styled. If you like a little bit more styling, I highly recommend just adding something as simple as a accent piece. So these are limestone knots, very simple to pop it right on top and create a little bit more of a polished styled look. Now, one of the things about fall decorating that I like to incorporate is just the feeling of rest. And so these books are actually really intentional. The names of the book matter. Down to Earth, A Place Called Home. What's the other one? The Nature of House. All of these things just kind of speak to a season of change and a season of rest. And the colors of the spines are very autumn inspired. That is intentional. Can you match your book spines to the season? Of course you can. Do you have to? Of course you don't. But it just so happens that I owned books already that fit the season and I wanted to display them and it kind of just all comes together really easily when you have those kinds of things in mind as you decorate for the seasons. Keeping in mind some of those things as you are thinking about your seasonal decorating like the atmosphere that you're creating, the tone that you're setting, the color palette that you're bringing in and does it really match the season, even things like the textures that you bring in through foliage or through um, things like natural textures like limestone, these all kind of play a role in how you create the feeling of your home. And it can even go so far as to be bringing it into something as simple as coffee table styling. You might have noticed that when I transitioned to this look, I just popped the tray back onto my console table behind me. And that is the beauty of a tray, just an FYI. Now the one element that really creates a more romantic vibe, or if you're looking for something that's more elegant, is linens. So this is actually um, just a Turkish towel, and it is a really beautiful weight, super soft, and it's very neutral, so it will go with almost any style of decor. So what I like to do is just create a little bit of a base for whatever you're going to be putting onto the coffee table. So I'm going to start with my face and it's going to be not perfect. It's upside down. I'm going to make it just like, like I threw it. Like you literally saw me just throw it right on there. And then we're going to add in the one element that makes any space feel kind of romanticized candles. The candles are a really deep plum, but they almost pull black unless you're really close to them. And so that helps add to kind of that elegant look as well. I'm going to put some books back and just have it be option one. This is very simple. We're going to light the candles, but in a minute. The other option is to add in a little bit of brass. This is just a brass pair. That's all. It's very simple. We can either add it on top of our books or we can add it down here. And it's just kind of a little tchotchke that is interesting and warms it up with the brass tone. I'm going to do this. It needs one more thing. Final item is glass beads. Glass is another texture or material that really can dress up a coffee table styling or really any table setting that you're trying to do. This is just glass beads. I'm going to drape them and remove these. And it just creates a little bit more of an interest. So glass beads aren't something that you see super often in styling, but they add that really interesting element. They're really pretty and delicate to look at. And the color of these ones are particularly a light gray, which is more of like that autumn changing of seasons tone. I gotta look at this from the front. I think I might like it draped like that better. But we're gonna light these up.
and this is obviously during the day, but if this was an evening, then that soft candlelight would be a beautiful addition. All right, now I realize that almost, nope, all of my styling so far has included these books. I think that it makes sense. They are coffee table books. Coffee table books go on a coffee table so that you can enjoy them and use them whenever you want. But I do want to give you some ideas without the books. Now, if you're looking for a very simple display, group some amber bottles. Amber is a great color for fall because it mimics the color of the leaves as they change. And it's just a really pretty display and they're really dusty. And you can also put some foliage out of them if you want to, or you can just leave them as is. It's very simple, but it does the trick. Wanna dress it up a little bit more, add a couple of candles. Now one final look that I have for you includes pumpkins, because what kind of decorator would I be if I didn't have a pumpkin option for fall? But I wanna share a tip with you. So this is a look, but it kind of falls flat, and it's because it is missing an element of texture and an element of grouping. So a very easy fix if you have a space that you put together a few things and you're like, meh, me, then add a basket or something to corral them. A tray would work well for this as well. It accomplishes the same purpose, but I really like this flexible basket. It's kind of like a gathering basket. Simply place the items in. And what I like about this basket is that it becomes flexible when you put heavy pieces in it so that it kind of pushes that front down and it makes the basket look even more unique. And so now, stay up there, guy. Now when we have our items all in one spot, it feels a little bit more finished and it adds a little bit more interest and it is cozier and more inviting. And so this is the final look for our fall decorating and coffee table styling today. Now there are obviously a lot of other options that you can do for coffee table styling depending on your preference for minimalism versus a more collected and curated look. There's also a lot of different options based on the style of your home. A traditional home is gonna look different than a boho home. And an organic modern home like I have is going to look different than a farmhouse home. So take into consideration the main overarching decorating style that you use and then incorporate that into every area of your home as you decorate for fall. If you don't know what your decorating style is, I have a two-part series on YouTube helping you determine what your decorating style is and then taking that revelation and teaching you how to implement it into your home. So make sure and check that out next. As you can see, the rest of my home is still decorated for summer, and so stay tuned for a lot more videos coming where I'm gonna decorate the rest of my house for fall with you. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the coffee table come together and the way that it really transforms the look of the room with the dark finish, with a new, more modern, more polished look, and I hope that you enjoyed seeing some decorating tips along the way. Let me know in the comments, what was your favorite way that I styled the table and what inspiration might you have taken from this video that you can now transition and apply to your own home. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time.